We urge you to read this disclaimer before viewing the video or practicing the techniques depicted therein. Named after the olive ridley turtle, one of the ocean's authentic tiny treasures, Ali's Club and Ali's Corner at participating ITC hotels and welcome hotels is a tribute to authentic, nurturing and holistic nourishing of the young beacons in our lives. Designed to make their stay with us interactive and responsible experiences, curated activities and utmost safety, the Ali Summer Camp is an extension of our service to our young guests at home. Stay tuned for upcoming sessions that unwrap a bundle of activities for the kids to practice and parents to gainfully engage in. Welcome to Oli Summer Camp by ITC Hotels and Welcome Hotels. I'm Chef Deepthi and I will be taking you to an interesting set of recipes today. So how many of you are like to eat fruits? What about some fruits for dessert? That sounds interesting, right? So what I have for you all today is a no-bake cheesecake with fresh mango. So let's get started. So for the ingredients, we have 2 cups of cream cheese, 7 to 8 butter cookies, 1 diced mango, a sprig of milk, a pinch of salt, half a cup of cream, 4 tablespoons of melted butter, 2 tablespoons of honey and 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. To make the cheesecake, we require 2 bowls, 1 spatula, 2 tablespoons, 1 muddler and a jar to set the cheesecake in. So let's get started with the cheesecake base. For that, you require the butter cookies. Put it into the bowl and slightly crush them. You need to pour some melted butter just so that it binds together. Once the melted butter is holding the biscuit crumb together, let's transfer this into a jar to set at the base. Our mother, just level this out so that the cheesecake is going to be That's done. We are going to refrigerate this for 1 hour to 45 minutes. So now let's start with the cheesecake mixture by taking the cream cheese, putting it into a bowl now. and we have a nice and smooth mixture here. We are now going to transfer this into the jar that we have from the refrigerator. The base is already set in this. So that's ready to go inside the refrigerator for another half an hour to chill. So now we have our cheesecake jar over here and it looks quite set from the refrigerator. So now we are going to just add the last ingredient which is the fresh mango on top of the We have the mango here. We are just going to top it up. We are going to now garnish it with a sprig of mint. Garnishing is just something that you do to make sure that your dessert is Finish it off with a spray of milk. So, I hope you all have enjoyed seeing this recipe of a no bake mango cheesecake, and I hope that you all are going to try this out soon. So, next, what I have for you all is something again with fruits. Okay, it's called fruit art. So, that is going to be our next session. Stay tuned. As all of you all know, fruits are a part of our balanced diet. Today I am going to be showing you a simple and a fun way of consuming foods on a daily basis through something called food art. For today's art, we would require chocolate cookies which are crushed, 
grapes, it is cut into half. Orange, it is cut in a round shape. We have some musk melon and watermelon cut in the shape of a flower. We also have some chocolate chips. To start with the art, we are going to start with the head of the turtle and we are just going to make the turtle's eyes by using chocolate chips. So we are going to insert it like this and we have the eyes of the turtle. Next, we take the chocolate cookie which is crushed and we are going to assemble this on the base. Namaste everyone. Welcome to day 3 of Oli Summer Camp by ITC Hotels and Welcome Hotels. My name is Zoeb Khan Mahmoud. In the previous sessions, you might have learned about how to be a budding chef or naturalist. And today, let us learn how to be the perfect host. Having a meal together gives us a chance to spend valuable time with our parents. Good table etiquette is as important as eating healthy. A basic laughing food. The first fold that we'll do is the bishop's mitre or the bishop's cap. So let's start. The first step is to fold the napkin into half. Give it a good firm press. From the right tip, we'll get it to the center, making a triangle. Similarly, from the left tip to the center. Now we'll turn it upside down. This line, you see, we'll get it to the center. The right tip will lock inside like this. We'll turn it upside down. Similarly, this right tip now will get locked inside here. Here we have the bishop's meter. The pocket fold. So let's start. The first step is to again fold the napkin into half. Now, like a book, we'll turn the page from the right side, like this, getting a square. Now, the left bottom that we have, we'll get it to the right tip, getting a triangle. Now, we'll turn the napkin upside down. And the right tip that we have, we'll get it to the center. The moment we get it to the center, we'll get a little triangle. This means that we are on the right path. Now, we'll open the triangle and from the left side, we'll fold the napkin. We'll give it a good firm press. Please note that we have to keep giving a firm press so the napkin gets the shape. Now, the little triangle that we have, now we'll lock the napkin with this and again, a good press. We'll turn the napkin upside down. Here is our pocket fold. We can keep our three friends also. That is the fork, the spoon and the knife. Pick it up. That is the pocket fold. Now before we start a meal, let us go through some basic table etiquette. Etiquette meaning the right way. The most important thing before we start a meal is to wash your hands. Don't place your elbows on the table. It is considered to be rude. The right way is to place your forearms. Always keep your mouth closed 
while chewing your food. Also, don't talk with food in your mouth. Don't have your meal in the hand. Take your time and enjoy. Don't scrape the plate or your teeth with cutlery. Don't lean on the table to reach out for something. Always ask the person sitting next to you to pass it on. Don't slouch and sit or tip the chair over. Keep a firm position and sit straight. Coughing or sneezing should be always done in the napkin and we should say excuse me afterwards. Do not leave the table to go to the washroom for example without saying excuse me for a moment. I hope you've learned to be the perfect host. Stay tuned for the next episode of Oli Summer Camp by ITC Hotels and Welcome Hotels. Stay home, stay safe.